Michael. How are you, man? Rogers. Good the, to see you, Alberto. The What's going on? And I met you several years ago right here at Right Netflix. here at Never The is. founder of Raw Story, and you bought up a whole lot of other stuff too, didn't you? Yeah, a couple of little things. What other I want to give thing? credit to my friend John. He founded I got there a few months later. I thought you I so. thought you were from the beginning, man. Like the site is 20 years old. I yeah. was there for 19 years and eight months. Okay, founder. <laughs> I, I, I'm not going to change what it's I said. Good. I, I okay. think it's all good. It's all good. Anyway, how I just want to credit John. Yeah, it's good. Because I think you picked up a couple others well, and we consolidated it, right? Well, we have a site called Alternate, which right. was founded in 1996. I remember with the founding, yes. But, and it was really an early leader on the web for right. different than Raw. Raw is hard news. And mm -hmm. we have some opinion, and there's more thoughtfully like kind of curated opinion right. and, and issues over at alternate and people like that and then another site we have is the new civil rights movement okay you know i was i didn't know that you wanted so, this new yeah, that also. we added yeah. that to the to the repertoire to the, list, to the big repertoire to the big repertoire of what you're doing so, so your traffic is pretty large um and growing 90 million hits a month or so yeah i i, I think big. that's excellent i mean Thanks. and uh you know how did you grow it from that little thing all the way up to where it's at right now so I think part of it is timing. Right. Right. Um, you couldn't start a raw story today like that. No, you, you can't. couldn't open up a computer, create no. a website and say, I want to start to bring people in. Right. Because you're now in a media landscape. Right. You're fighting with eight trillion other people. Right. But in the early days of raw, we um, John envisioned that we need a liberal alternative. Right to the conservative media right. that are constantly pushing their messages. You know, I, I once said, I said, how can we influence the media? Right. And he says to me, it's far better to be the media than to try to influence it. I am <laughs> going to tell you a thing. I'm, I, with Coffee Party USA, we came up with that uh -huh. moniker in, nine, in, in 2000 and, when did Obama did it? 2000, we came up with that moniker in 2010 to fight what was going on with all the bad media that you remember right. all the media was leaving things like throw grandma over the ridge or right. death panels so we said we were going to be the media mm -hmm. and you know for all practical purposes we tried you know right i i you know i used to write several years ago for raw story as well mm -hmm. you know and um, it was it was always a place that you know folks are going to ultimately see your stuff because well, we you guys try. know how to market <laughs> that sucker, you know. We have a very strong I mean, I, I remember getting a, I, I remember getting a, a tweet or something with, and just think with Egberto Willis on it, and I'm like, where the hell does that come from? Right. Raw story. I'm like, oh, okay. And we syndicate a lot of great stuff. Right. About. We work with providers to make sure that. What one of the things we do is we like to get unrepresented voices. Right. And underrepresented stories. Right. There's so many important stories in the country, that people are not following right my, some of my greatest pleasures when one of our reporters goes out does an, right. a, a unique story an original exclusive and then i turn on the cable news and they're like so raw story reported today yeah and i'm like wow that's like going up the chain it's having an effect you know it's it, mine is on a very tiny scale but i remember the first time i broke a story in, in, from in, in dallas and it was like wow you get that feeling that yep. you know it's it, so i yeah. mean it, it happens now you guys break stories every damn day now you know so yeah, we try. You we've know. just added some more. Um, we've gotten. We weren't a lot of investigative reporting. Yeah. We kind of developed more into um, <clears throat> this hard punching liberal stuff. Right. And now we're realizing we need to do kind of both. Right. That there's you know going to be a, a great balance. balance. And I imagine you use your alternate platform for the more uh, solid reporting as opposed to less opinion or. Well. The alternate is more of a curated site mm -hmm. in which, like, we have agreements with right. you know, dozens of different websites. Right. Say, can we run your material? Like right. the AP, like right. any other site. Right. Um, what you're going to find is that thoughtful kind of report. Right. Over right. It. Not that it's not thoughtful there. No, but no, it, 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 it is like less more opinionated. Of a, less opinionated. Yeah. It, and it, 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 the opinions that come come from this curation right. that's going on. So right. it's kind of mixed in as opposed to. What, there used to be a lot more like opinion sections, and right. now it's more focused on the broader, I think right. is what you're, what you're talking about. And it's, yeah. it's and, exciting and to see everybody work together, but on different And entities. it's important, right? And I, I, I think, look, I, the, the two people before, I, I interviewed a guy who said he's trying to unite the progressive space in such a way that uh, we cooperate on, on issues. Because right now, if you notice, there are talking points that the right has, and 
they hammer those talking points right through the day all over. Unlike yep. the ever the progressive space who go off and do each their individual thing. Nothing wrong with, I, I think, I understand what he's saying. I think we should all go off and do our individual thing, but I think we should also have some talking points at all. Of, I mean, every website is unlimited in the size and the scope of the right. things it can carry. Of course. Right? So I wish there, I, I, personally, I don't have the time, but if somebody were out there that says, we in this space are going to have these talking points for the day, and we all have a consortium that does that, I would be for that. We need to find a way to bridge. Like, one of the examples I use is this. The environmental movement wants to protect the environment. Right. They want to make sure that our land and our lakes and are free from contaminants and da da da, da. The labor movement that we love right. wants to have jobs building pipelines. Exactly. Right. So how can we come together with right. labor and educate them about, well, what does it really mean? This 8,000 jobs, once it's built, are nine jobs of people sitting in front of a monitor. Exactly. So when you start to, and that's the kind of coalitions that we need to be building. Exactly. And uh, I have an old line. It's not my line. Uh -huh. It may have been, you may have heard it, but it's like this. It goes like this. You take 100 conservatives and you put them in a room. Right. And if they disagree on 99 things yeah. and agree on one, they're walking out of that room fighting for the one issue. Exactly. You put 99 liberals in a room who agree on, you put 100 liberals in a room, 99 of whom agree Three. on everything, they will walk out fighting about, about the one, one thing. That you is, know. But you know what? It's a stereotype, <laughs> but it's true. Right. And, and we don't need to leave that stereotype. What we need to do is build on that stereotype. In other right. words, that is okay, but it's also sure. okay for us to say we're going to concentrate on on the uh, uh, we, we're going to give some and, space to that one thing we disagree on and work on the other ninety nine. Right, know? and and if you're in that little disagreement space, how do you affect the other ninety nine? Exactly. What do we do to get? And who is the enemy here? Right, it, that, that, that's it, most who importantly, is the right? Enemy? Exactly, exactly. So you're at this. Uh, kind of inflection point where there's all these exhibitors and all these people and you know I don't like you and you do this and you do that but at the end somehow it comes together but I agree we lack we lack a Frank Lutz yes Frank Lutz who I can't stand right does an amazing job we right? were talking about him a no few minutes ago no one's doing that on the left yes. no one is pulling together these focus which, like pick an issue right like the right wing is going to yeah. pick an issue and they're going to use it as a wedge and right. do whatever they had. The Democrats yeah. need better, like the issue of gender care. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is a big controversy. Controversy all over the country. Right. They are going to make it one of their top four issues exactly. in the campaign. When we're yeah. talking about nine people in the right, country, right. right? The Democratic yeah. talking point is simple, ladies and gentlemen. All of this is not worth anything. It's all a show. It's all practice for controlling bodies. There and what controlling bodies is about is abortion, abortion, abortion. And then never stop saying the word abortion. Exactly. But that's not us. No, no, no. We're going to use this as an opportunity to try to educate Jerry Falwell. And we as if we're going to get and Jerry we Falwell. Never, we will never educate the, the, <laughs> right. the, the Jerry Falwells of the world. 10% yeah. and 20% of the population don't waste your time. And you know, the reason I'm not talking any specific technical or political issue with you know is because... There's a political issue we need to talk about, and then there's a transport, and I call the media the transport, and we have to perfect the transport, and that is where we're not yet perfecting the transport. And, I, and, 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 and people give you a hard time in, in some of the way raw story moves their stories, the sensationalism yeah. of the stories, and here's what I put out there. I've learned, I've learned headlining from raw story in this manner. It doesn't matter it, it, what your headline is if somebody's not going to read your story. So right. you want to give a headline for people to read your story, right. and you're not fooling them. You're just attracting their attention, attention. to right. read a solid amount of information. Right. And, and I understand. Listen, we live in a partisan world. We're right. partisan. I always say we're biased. Exactly. That we're biased toward the truth. Yes. <laughs> right? So, but I, I'm going to give you an example. It's irrelevant to me now. You know, we have a, a thriving publication. We have 30 right. people. But when we were young, right. we would go to progressive organizations. Yes. We went to the left. Can you give us some ads? Here's the traffic. We have, nah, nah, nah. You go to Breitbart. You want to talk about the money being pumped in? We're bigger than Breitbart on the web in terms of yes. numbers. You want to talk but about the more... money that the right wing shovels Engaging to their media? And not shovels it. Paid. Exactly. Now, like I said, I've always... 
I've, I've had this thing, like when this old ad company messed with like 20 bloggers, mm -hmm. right? And took away ad money. I fought the fight, but made them whole first because that's what's happening. These big outfits are taking advantage of the little guy mm -hmm. to depend on them. Like yeah. it's, it's, and it's important, but I compare it to their successes. Right. We have successes, but when I compare it to theirs, it's always about the messaging and we do not put enough. Well, let me, let me just tell you, and I, I, I'll put you on the line here or put you on the spot here. I think uh, with, with your platform and your 90 million uh, views that you have, one of the next and, and you know, take, take it or leave it. One of the next steps is how to, to, to make that. I mean, if it's if it's for the movement, if it's not just a commercial issue, if it's for right. the movement that has to be leveraged. There are not many right. places like you out there. So uh, mm -hmm. uh, you need to make money, in my opinion, and at the same time, got to pay the bills, <laughs> pay the bills, of course. Right. But leverage that authority, that 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 notoriety in order right. for us to grow this space, because, again, if the space is grown, <laughs> well, you, uh, you're the big daddy and have to tell field. you. You're the big daddy in independence, all right? You're, you know, uh, we try. No, no. I mean, let's look at the numbers. You're the big right. daddy in independence. So, I mean, uh, as the big daddy in independent media and so forth, I think comes a lot of responsibility as well. Mm -hmm. I agree. I agree. One of the things that I think is really important about that responsibility is finding those stories. Right. Right. There was a kid who was killed. Right. Trayon White. Mm -hmm. No one heard of him. No one knew. Till we run a story and it blows up. And then up. that night it's on MSNBC every, and boom, the others. And there we are. Yeah. And that to me is, you know what? We're not going to get the credit. We're not going to get some big award. It, it, look, I've seen people get Pulitzers for exposing stuff we exposed six did, months yeah. before. Yeah. yeah. So, um, but that's like the Oscars. That's all so internal. It's right. so meant. Oh, we got to pump, like, got to pump up the traditional papers. Got to right. push that, you know. So um, you do the work, then they take it. But, you know, in a way, if that helped to motivate the work, that's the kind of stuff that and, I get the most excited about. And again, about. that's the difference between an altruistic, a paper that's, I mean, yeah, you want to make a lot of money because with money you can do things. But right. altruistically, it also means that you get, you get the positive job done. Because right. there are too many, I mean, the, the other side, the idea is they're just in it for the money and they'll lie for it. We tell the truth right. and at the same time we can use our notoriety to, to right. make money. And I, and, and, I, and I think as long as our progressive press do that, it'd be fine. I would like us to work a lot more together. I'm talking about the totality of what we do because I think given that more Americans agree with the values that we support, I think, of course. Uh, yeah, I think it is imperative that we That's do that. That's why our but campaign this time around should be absolutely abortion, abortion. every other word. I mean, that's the closer. That is what the people care about. Right. Go look at all the surveys. I mean, it is clear as day. But we'll find a way maybe to... <laughs> well, no, I have hope. I, I mean, I, I'm I sorry, hope. I hate the word hope. We are going to get it done. And it takes, so. and again, with, with a, a platform like yours with 90 million, with what we are doing here and here, and my little platform with Rick Smith, right. little platform and... But you you're know. reaching the core, 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 yes. core. Right. So that's how a site, like, it all builds on right. each other. And Absolutely. You know, one of the things, like, we sponsor Netroots Nation. Right. And some of my friends will say, well, I don't think our publication would do that. We want to remain in a point, you know. Yeah. Really? You don't want to give any money is what you're saying. Yeah. You know, everyone knows that Breitbart is conservative. Yes. If Breitbart sponsors yes. a right-wing conference, it's not yes. going to be like, oh, clutch my pearls. What? How could this happen? Right. You know, and we need to step back. We need to step in and step forward and support the work. And it, it's really frustrating to me. Well, uh, look, you're doing a good job. Good Ellis. to see you, man. Nice to see you. And uh, Thank you so kindly for you'll being be here. here. The rest of Rogers. The I'll be here for the whole conference. I'm doing, okay. I'm going to do at least 30, 40, 50 interviews. Wow. You know, but I, wow. I, I, I'm, I'm speaking to people that are making a difference. And well, brother, you're that. not just making a difference. You are tearing it apart. I hope. And, We're uh, trying. <laughs> you, keep, you keep doing what you do. Thank you so kindly for having been on Politics and Right. Well, thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. We 
we spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to, trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share.